Aries, welcome to your reading. Hi. How does this person feel about you? This is a timeless and um, general love tower reading. And in this reading you are not only going to see how the person that you have in mind feels about you, but we will also see um, what are intentions of this person and what are their next steps towards you. So let's focus on the energy. Aries, I hope you are well, wherever you are in the world. And let's start the reading. Think about the person. How does this person feel about the Aries? Please. Oh, hearts are jumpy. that I need to see for Aries. Aries, you might be dealing with Pisces, Cancer and Virgo. Your person, uh, I have a feeling, quietly admires you. We've got a hermit and the moon, I would say. Perhaps you didn't know, but they are quietly admiring you. Um, I'll add that you have your third eye quite awoken. You are open to... Um, energies and I feel that maybe they think you don't know that you are they admire you but you do get that vibe I think with this queen here look at that the third chakra she knows um so Is that a secret admirer, Aries? Strong Virgo. Cancer. The Six of Pentacles, it's... Um, they, they would like to... Um, the the secret to be revealed in other words they would like to give and take they would like to spend time they would like to share energy the reciprocity uh, card a six of pentacles but there is these two energy are very similar i think they are watching you i think they are not in this creepy sense or um Malicious. I feel this person wants to keep it for a reason. Uh, well, let's find out why. Um, but they do see that you are very successful, confident. Um, Very beautiful as well. 
it's like beauty and the beast here <laughs> i'm getting look at the hermit and look at this beautiful queen of pentacles i'm getting them they feel um like the beast like it's not very and they look at you they see your beauty i think they they are also realizing you know that they are dreaming about you visualizing but keeping it quiet i think they know that you are seeing it secret admirer Oh, there's more wow. eight of wands the chariot and the strength intentions let's see more so i feel this person would like to communicate um i would say this may happen in the cancer around cancer if you guys not in a communication, we've got cancer all over the place here. This could be just an indication, a hint when this person could kind of come out of the shell, stop dreaming, just come and talk. They do want to talk. Um, there may be distance involved. More, more likely, um, I'm not saying internet, but just distance. So with the chariot, perhaps this person is hoping to come and see you. But in general, this is an energy of movement forward. So they do want to change the situation, this silence, this daydreaming energy. They have intention to finally reveal how they see you, how they feel about you. And they admire you. They love that... This, they see you as someone very grounded, very sort of You see, I feel they are dreamy, but they see you and what they love about you is this this solidness because pentacles uh, pentacles, this is an earth energy, such a solid. They love that. So let's say, you know, if you get yourself involved in a project or in your professional life, or if you're st studying, you're very thorough and successful in this. And they love that. They really see that and they admire that. I feel they are... Um, uh, with the strength here, I, I'm getting that they are hoping that, you know, they can tame that solidness in you, that perfectness, because this is how they see you. This is, this is, I don't know, such a perfect energy, perfect person. Um... Because it's a pentacle, it's not lavy davy. Plus, your 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 third eye, like spiritually, also, you are. They see that you are. Hmm. 
you were awake. Oh, you are an earth sign, if you are. Um, you are really connected to the source. Okay. They love your hair. There's something I'm staring at the hair. They love your hair. If you have sort of shoulder hair, and especially if you're sort of ginger, naturally or not, they love your hair. Okay. Intentions. It was not meant to be about that, but there's another one. <laughs> The Empress and Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel they are going to slowly with the page. It's that um, little by little, it's a small energy, it's not a knight, it's not a king, it's a page. Um, this is them intending to um, slowly win you over. This is how they see you, by the way. An abundant, confident, beautiful, um, creative Person. It doesn't have to be a woman, okay? This can describe a man as well. I would say around Cancer, which is what, July? Um, I feel they will finally come out of their shell. You will know how, how they see you, how they feel about you. They will come forward. Well, I don't know if you know, but they want you to be the one. If I didn't say that with the Empress. They want you to be the one. I wanted to, sorry, can I backtrack? I wanted to know why this person is kind of um, a secret admirer. I'm very curious. For Aries, why is this person holding back? Why are they secretly here? This five of swords, three of pentacles, and another five. Okay, they are dealing with something. So they are not ready to build. There's two fives here. Clearly. Clearly dealing with something. Quite difficult energies. Both Five of Swords and Five of Cups. Regret. Some level of confusion around. I feel they also may, may be scared to... They might be worried that if this, this, if this is the scenario of Beauty and the Beast, then this to me, it's this person worry that this is not gonna work out. And that's why they keep, keep it secret yet. But the three of pentacles here, um, there is something that this person is already actively working on to um, slowly 
make the changes and come out of this difficult energy here. And we saw here the intentions are clear. Communication, very clear communication. Movement forward. And the de destination is this abundance and essentially making you aware that they are um, in love with you, that they consider you as um, very could be a life partner because this is an empress. Let's see here. What, what is this person going to do next for Aries? Yeah, they worry that this is not going to work. They don't know. How, which way to um, sort of approach it, approach you, so that it actually works. And that's the reason for them to just be a secret admirer. Okay, what are the special next steps for Aries, please? Only saw the page, so I'm going to take the page. I didn't see this one. So I've got the page. Death, which is transformation. Don't freak out. It may take a little while. We've, we've got a hangman here. So in the near future, Uh, I wouldn't expect a major change. I think it will be delayed. But this person's intention is to really move forward. This is the intention. To clearly communicate and communicate that the intention is to move forward in this connection. But... Um, in the near future, I would say the death and the hangman talk about um, delay in that transition, the delay in this transformation. It's not going to happen overnight, um, especially if this person needs to be a little bit more optimistic about it, as opposed to stay in the Five of Cups and Five of Swords energy. But I think with the Queen of Swords, they'll be honest, they'll definitely be honest about what's going on with them and how they feel about this situation, how they feel about you. Same here with the page. I think you can expect a communication, a very honest conversation, I would say. When I feel this person is going to tell you how they feel about you, you know, how they view you what this potentially is for them, what is it for them. But this major, there's a major change. This is, go, is, it is going to take a major change. And there is going to be a little delay in that. Aries. Secret admirer, that is. That is going to transform and that will come forward in the right time. 
And this is someone who's very honest, trustworthy, I would say. You can trust this person. Aries, I will stop here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, give me thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Um, drop me a comment if this resonates. And um, again, thank you for your time. Goodbye for now.